Hello everyone and welcome to this brief video. We've got two minutes in which to cover five points, so I'm going to have to talk really quickly for you. First point. In 2014, I was appointed as a National Teaching Fellow, and as soon as I could after that, I wanted to start mentoring people for Senior Fellowship. So I had about nine on the go in the first year, and then all of a sudden somebody told me that the university's documentation said that I couldn't be mentoring someone unless I had a level of UKPSF Fellowship myself. So, so I looked at the Principal Fellow Guidelines and decided to apply for that. Um, I was appointed to somebody who himself was a, a senior fellow at the time, uh, Dr. Paul Dennison, and Paul was my advocate throughout the PFHGA period. What he didn't tell me was that um, he was so inspired by going through the process that the two of us were working on together that he applied for PFHGA and we both achieved it on the same day. I've got a great deal out of being Principal Fellow, not least for the number of doors it opens. So being a National Teaching Fellow and Principal Fellow, there are certain um, committees or organisations and uh, um, uh, strategies within the university that I wouldn't have had access to otherwise, such as being one of the TEF assessors and now one of the assessors for new um, NTFs and the Kate Awards. The biggest challenge I had was at that time I wasn't in any position of management at all. In fact, I was only a senior lecturer. So when I was looking at the PFHA documentation, it said it's certification for um, strategic leadership and management. So I had to argue cogently here that although I wasn't applying for a management position, what I was applying for was for my strategic leadership of sexual health education uh, locally at the University of Greenwich, as well as nationally and sometimes even internationally. So it was the strategic leadership role that I went down as opposed to having any formal management uh, element of my title. As for top tips, I suppose one of the best that I, that I can give you here is go back to the form as often as you need to and just do little by little. Don't sit down and think you have to do it as an assignment over a certain uh, short period of time, but look at the form, become really familiar with it and know what it's asking of you. And bit by bit, as you reflect and you consider how you might be achieving the various elements, just go in and dot them down. So when it comes to the time that you've got then for a final edit, at least you've got the, the main material down and it just means um, organising it in the way that the UKPSF um, uh, documentation requires. And the final thing I have to do is to inspire you to get PFHEA. So here's one of my three little ones. This is Theo and I want to inspire you, okay? Um, becoming a Principal Fellow is really an excellent move. Um, it'll help your career in so many ways. It'll open new doors, it takes you to new levels of working. So well worth the effort, even though you may consider this is quite an onerous task and a big piece of work to do at the moment, it's definitely well worth it. Thanks a lot, bye bye and good luck.